Good morning, technically, from the West Coast. And I should be live. I'm live there. I'm live there. We are. Everybody's live. Hi, guys. Uh, I need... There we are. Howdy-do, howdy-do. Here we are. Can we be of help? I did a little more play last night, not a bunch. Finished out Act 3, well into Act 4 now, up to level 41. Uh, made myself another a new bow. Got equally lucky with my second Orb of Binding. Both of my Orbs of Binding have given me two elemental attack mods and an empty prefix so I could benchcraft the third on. I also got... Uh, an extraordinarily good quiver to show up out of nowhere. Quite happy with that, too. Um, back into the crystal veins. Where we Pride the desire, huh? give Diala the Duresso object, and now we're off to Calm's Dream. Bye -bye. Which apparently has lots and lots and lots of fire in it. Uh, let's see. Strongest monster in the pack gets. What else do we have? We want to use up this at least. Uh, pack monsters are rats. Normal, normal. High pack density. We're going to turn the firehounds into rats. that down there. And that down there. And we should be fine, and we're off. Good morning to those of you who have arrived. Anger we want on. Herald of Ice we want on. Hope your Saturday so far is just fine. Um, pick those up. Maybe get something nice and delightful out. I like delightful things. Lots and lots of rats, we're going to say. My understanding is, though, they're good for XP, so... connected up that way. Well, you learn something new every day. That's a common statement anyway. I'm not sure I really actually learn things, something new every day. Um, I, uh, earlier I looked at my stash, and it seems to me that my for this point in the game that my um, my currency numbers are really low, and I've seen a couple of the other streamers, you know, name streamers, talking about how poor everybody is. So, uh, it seems like they made a change in how much stuff is getting out onto us for, in terms of currency. I just feel really, really light on currency. I mean, I've gotten lucky with my two uses of uh, orbs of binding. Very lucky. I have very little in the way of currency most of the time. It's no problem to throw a transmute on 
something because I've got by this point I have it feels like I've got like 50 or 70 I have three right now two or three which feels suspiciously low like they really nerfed the hell out of currency there. and given the number of students I'm talking about how poor they were that could very well be Looks like uh, any sort of lower tier crafting early on, anyway, it's going to be a bit dicey. Simply don't have the currency. I also revamped the uh, build a bit. Nothing major. Lots of little tweaks. I now have uh, two spells on mana forge arrows. Specking. Basically, I spend a certain amount of mana and a spell. A couple of ones. The, uh, was it Rain of the Storm Rain and Blast Rain are both now on Mana Forged arrows. So they'll go off. Didn't get much out of that. Um, into Calm's Stronghold. What do we got? Uh, strongest monster in the pack gets increased attack speed. Volcanic totems are really annoying. Uh, Very, very best players in the world. I'm Exile. Died a little earlier today. I managed to miss it even though I was watching the stream. In fact, I woke up and I'm starting a new character. I'm like, uh, did I miss something? The answer was, yeah, I, I missed it. But I completely agree with his point of view on it, which was, you know, like last league, I was dying to. To, you know, stupid stuff getting DC'd and coming back and my character was dead. This time I died because I did something dumb. And you know, that doesn't bother me as much. And that's the way I feel about it. If I do something dumb, hey, I deserve to die in a game. It's when I do nothing wrong and I die anyway. Those ones are the ones that make me, make me mad. Unfair death. something here. Uh, no, yes. Alright. Monsters reflect 10% of elemental damage. I'm going to skip that one. Because I would almost certainly annihilate myself. Because most of my damage is elemental damage. And I often fire many arrows at the same time. And if they all reflected that elemental damage back on me, there would be a moist spot on the ground where I used to be. Now, personally, I have nothing against moist spots. I just don't want to be one. I was running into batches of 8 or 10 or 12 mobs, all with proximity bubbles. That is just a ridiculous um, occurrence that should never happen. We players, we all freaking hate the proximity bubbles to begin with. And that's onesies, twosies. Not a dozen at a frickin' time. All in each other's bubbles.
great. Go ahead and drop this just in case. I think so. I think we're good to go. Let's go. Quick, back to Diala, and then back to town again. Thank you, Diala. Back to town. The league so far, um, my opinion, seems to be consistent with what I've seen uh, from streamers. Might as well, I think, a little more generous. Uh, Exile was saying that the the crafting in the league, at the least at the lower level, and, main, and he had finished out most of his atlas, so uh, was not impressive. Uh, at the very low level, I think it was really good. Early low levels. After that, since then, it's been pretty meh. I don't imagine it improves a lot until what maybe. What do you the end want? Day. God, it happened again. I am seeing Path of Exile freezing up on me like this. It happened a couple of times last night, and now it's happened here. And I, uh, I'm going to have to kill the app. And restart it. Because it well and truly has. Start it. Pain in the ass, that is. All right. And there. It's coming back, guys, I promise. Happened twice last night, and now today. I'm not enthused. It's happened every time in town. Now that I think about it, that doesn't surprise me. The performance in town is is fucking horrible. And I did see a couple of um, the streamers, other streamers, real streamers, um, mention it. So I'm going to head to my hideout to do as much of my business as I can and avoid towns. Way to go, go GGG. You supposedly fixed that last Hello. lead. Guess not, huh? They're so desperate to show you their MTX, hoping you'll buy them. Journey well. That they'll fuck up the whole game for it. Uh, I still need... Fire and lightning resistance when I can. Look at fifty percent. No, twenty-four percent suppression chance. That seems low. Um, no open suffix. No open suffix. That one's got an open suffix. there's anything good I can put on there offensively. Attack speed. I don't have the chaos for it. I don't think I have any scours yet, either. Maybe one? I have a regret. I have no scours. Yeah, this is this is the entirety of, of my currency so far. 
and it for this level it just seems incredibly low i mean five transmutes seriously normally you got those coming out your bits and pieces Back to town. Spell Echo, Multi Strike, GMP Chain, Area of Effect, Withering Touch, Wally, Barrage. Well, we'll take the GMP. I'm not sure we really want to use it, though. At least not Didn't right now. I Maybe later. That's four additional. That's 35 less. Yeah, we'll slap it in if we've got an open slot. We do. Start leveling it up. I'm going to AFK a second, grab myself. Another um, Coca-Cola based beverage. writing, but no, it's spiced with the flavor of raspberry and a little spice. As best I can determine, the spice is because um, it's got a little bit of burn is uh, cinnamon and maybe a little ginger. Whoops! And I very nearly spilled the whole freaking thing. at the belly of the beast. Oh, I'm back. I almost forgot. Temporarily forgot? Semi-forgot? Oh, that's a lot. Tier 3, strongest monster in the pack. It's Adrenaline. Oh, lovely. I'm so fortunate. Um, noisome Ophidians. Wandering Eye. Uh, they don't do much damage in the onesies, so we'll go with that there. Oh, extra life. Good, good. That's, that's awesome. Not the archers. Uh, evade hits. I mean, wow. I'm just not getting much in the way of rewards from the league mechanic. I mean, so this is what life inside of a nightmare looks like. all the maps are getting more difficult. Critters. Say that and immediately get a drop. Okay. It just, you know, all the mobs are, or many, if not all of the mobs are getting juiced up. We don't seem to be getting much in the way of obvious rewards, especially given the fact that it certainly feels. I could have sort of sworn I heard something drop. It certainly feels like um, we're low on currency. I could have sworn I heard something drop. But. Well, I was mistaken. Doesn't seem likely, huh? I, I grant you that. I'm not a huge fan of maps like this where basically you can't see shit. Everything blends in. Of course, as an old man, my vision is getting worse anyway. So, the 
last week was pretty great. This one seems no better than this one, at least so far. Belly of the Beast, level 2. Strongest monster in the pack, 100% rarity of items dropped. Okay. Final pack spawns the Nameless Seer on death. Uh-huh. Additional physical damage reduction. That should be fine. Let's just let's go with it. What, what's the worst that could happen? I think I still only have the two deaths that I got on the very first map. Yep, yep, just the two deaths from the one fire mob because I misclicked my buttons because I was in last epoch button mode instead of POE button mode. So I can, I think, truthfully blame my deaths on last epoch. Just damage for me. Uh, pardon me. Carbonated beverage. What could I do? If you've got a belch, you have to belch, because if you suppress it, it, it's like a sneeze. It can give you an aneurysm. I totally didn't just make that up. I promise. I made it up. I cannot lie. I just lied. did get a double unique drop from the mob. Well, a particularly interesting one. Ah, uh, piety. And I don't remember what this is. Dex and Int. Increased maximum life. Chance to gain frenzy on killing an enemy. You affected by poisons. I don't really do poisons. Alright, that's what, the third, fourth time we've beaten piety? Listen carefully, Ranger, as this is something you will never hear from me again. I was wrong, and you were It was Malachi. It was Malachi all along. I have to find his organs. I'm really not interested in any of his organs. Ah, that is helpful. Tier 2 of elemental resistances. 20% increased pack size for the Bone Warped Warriors. Freeze, all damage can freeze. We definitely don't want that. Uh, we drag that down to here. Those things tend to die quickly. And enter. Every crime against nature That's sort of my only issue with the League right now. Is that the mobs are generally speaking tougher than usual, but we do not seem to be getting any concomitant increase in loot, especially 
the currency. Currency drops just seem really, really low. Again, that is entirely anecdotal. But because it's one of my anecdotes, it's obviously entirely accurate and factual. Nice Nova freezes you when activated. I don't have uh, anti-freeze on any of my flasks, so I'm going to give that one a skip. Because it would almost certainly kill me. Because again, I just don't have the things to... drop stuff onto my flasks, to change my flasks around, because I just don't have the currency. Lag spike, not welcome. Unfortunately, I would love to open that, but I'm um, almost certain it would kill me. Who almost died there. I, what the hell? How did I burn through my freaking flask so fast? My gear is, with the exception of the bow and the fly, or the bow and the quiver, is not very good. My life total is low. My extended hit point total is low. My currency is low. Frankly, you know, if I'm not, if it's just bad luck, then it's just bad luck. But if it's really kind of um, that they've nerfed some of the loot and stuff, then I can not. in general. You were your own worst enemy because having to sort of scrabble around, if I wanted to do that, I'd be playing Ruthless. And nobody wants to play Ruthless except Crip. I'm pretty dubious about surviving this, gotta say. I am I at this moment, Ranger. You and I who create the most beautiful of nightmares together. Creation, usually the concern of nature, isn't it?
<coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you, you were born for this. I was going to talk and I swallowed wrong and so much for that. I've strived my whole life to make I'm going to do something I essentially never myself. ever do. You simply lived. And the irony is I'm going to go back to town so just to fill up my flasks. I would not be surprised if Malachi kills me. I'm not feeling confident in the state of the bill. Now, the present. let us see if you truly understand what it means to be Nightmare. Shellfish? Oh, selfish. Yeah, that's different. Anything that I'm using, with the exception of the bow and the um, quiver, both of which are really good. The rest of my gear is kind of crap. And again, the currency, it just seems to be almost non existent. Remember to use the flasks. One through five on the keyboard. Helpful hint. A predator is Theoretically, at the end of Act 4, you want to have about 1,200 effective life pool, and I'm at not even 1,100. Most of the time coming through here, I'm at 1,500? More? So, my gear is crap. Currency is limited. My offense is pretty good. That's good. Can I get lucky again? And another composite bow, four sockets. I'll just uh, set that one aside for later. Uh, what do we got in the morgue right now? They did it in one league. Why don't they just retroactively change it so that when you're talking with an NPC in a map, 
everything fucking freezes. You did it in one league, you could do it again. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get rid of uh, a few of these and see if I can just get yeah. a, a lucky pop out of it. Uh, this is the Necropolis. That's got life and one resist. That's got a fair chunk of resist, so we'd probably rather keep that. Uh, that's got life stats and one decent resist. I think a ring? Life and a resist. No, gloves. We'll try gloves. Yeah, we'll try gloves. Uh, caster modifiers. Mono modifiers. The odds of getting anything good uh, is low, but what the hell. Armor, gloves, sure. So that you may allow them to grip their destiny! Strength, mana, life, and mana per enemy killed. Those are not good. Yeah, they're just not good. But those are not mods that were going to be particularly useful to me anyway, so... No great expenditure of assets. It froze me. But it was a, a blue box, so it was less likely to murder me. Go the right way, not the wrong way. Ailment stun and curse mitigation. Rank one. What the hell was throwing an enormous flaming ball of death at me? Currently at four six nine four. Four nine five nine. Not much of a bump. Should have been more. Thirty percent increased projectile speed. That's increased projectile damage as well. Because of that. I would have expected more. Son, I am disappointed. Oh, let's check it. Be awesome. Be high, really good tiers of fire, cold, and lightning damage, please. Elemental damages, go. Got one. Low, not a good tier, though. Crappy tier, tier nine. It's even less than the uh, enchantment, the benchcraft tier that I've got. So, no, not good. It was uh, a man can hope. A man can live in hope. Let's go off. We'll fire up the resonator and head to Oriath. What do we got? Increased attack and cast speed for each live monster in the pack. That doesn't seem awesome. Uh, all pack density is normal. Pack spawns a meteor on death. That's probably the thing that came flying down to tier 6 that I just noticed a minute ago. Indoctrinated slaves, truth extractors, and Oriath enforcers. Uh... How many meteors am I going to take right in the face? No living being deserves to be caged. That 
that's the meteor. Okay. At least it does have a obvious telegraph. Like that. Oh, and it's not just a meteor. It's cremation as well. How nice. When I say nice, uh, I'm not even nice. I'm not sure what I just grabbed. As I was trying to make sure I wasn't going to get meteored in the face. As history informs my belief that uh, getting meteored in the face not not great. Not all it's cracked up to be. That is a tier 6 uh, mod of badness. Here's the meteor. Meteor. Attribute modifiers. I don't either like or dislike that. Although I'm not sure where I would put it on the list of mods I most see more. Thanks for dropping that right in the middle where I can't see what the hell the boss is doing. Plus 50 cold modifier tier rating. Oh, that would be okay. I always have to open. There's usually something over here, and it's just a habit of mine. So I must open it. I got lucky once, I think. I was always a rebel. Glad others are finally seeing things my way. Tula. Money. Oh. I think it's fire and lightning. It's fire and lightning. Fire and lightning. We'll see if we can get lucky. Get a nice ring to give me a bunch of resists. Make everything better. Yes, thank you, Valenta. No. Shut up, cake hole. This one, sadly. Be good. Uh, more coal. So we've got fire. Once it got open, it has an open prefix. We can put life on it. We don't need the cold resist. We need fire and lightning. That's, in the short term, the worst resist we could get. Disappointed. Remember, we do this for freedom. We do this for freedom, guys. Remember that. Uh, let's see. Hey, excellent. A bleed protection flask. I like that. I don't think I really need the increased amount, but it's got four uses of more mana. Should be fine. This one's 9 of 38. How much is it returning? 300. 452 over 5 seconds. Dump off the stuff in the stash. I mean, that's a reasonable amount of stuff to get as drops. That feels a lot more level appropriate than the stuff I was previously previously getting. Uh, those go both get put away. This goes here, I think. Yep. No, here. Yep. There. That goes in amongst the uniques. Let me drop this in here. How many out? We've got only three outs. I don't even want to burn an out on it. 
was there. Yeah, the lockers over here. Pack monsters can drop omens, and pack monsters can drop omens. I gotta say, I, I don't even know what the hell an omen is. Unless those were omens, in which case that would be redundant. All right, in we go. Still, our life total is crap. Our resistances aren't good. a little bit of mono leech. Basically the only part of the build that's working good is the damage. That part's fine. Miasmeter. Miasmeter? Miasmeter? My ass meter? In that it measures the magnitude of my ass? Possible. Spoiler. The magnitude of my ass. Pretty big. Single target. Not great single target, but reasonable. Mana modifier tier rating again. Stop giving me magic stuff. Give me give me bow stuff. Physical modifier. It's okay. Elemental would be better, but physical's not bad. since the first map the first map out of the first town I'd like to say it's due to my quality play so I will it's due to my quality play it isn't but I'll say it anyway uh, strongest monsters in pack get dropped gets dropped weapons have a 25% chance to be converted to an instilling or Large packs? No. 40% movement speed. Put that on purge hounds and I guess we'll put there. 
pop back to town, I think, and sell some stuff. No, don't have to. One way or another, this city is doomed. We've got plenty of inventory space, not something you get to say very often. From all passive exile players. We hate Prox Bubbles. Thank you. Attack speed. I am going to have to dodge him, move him around. My life total is so low. Face tanking. Not a smart idea. One prox bubble mob at a time instead of last night, where there was a batch where I was getting one map, where I was getting eight or ten or even twelve in a cluster. And it was okay, teleport in and start killing them one at a time because they all have frickin' prox bubbles. time a friend and I were playing. I mentioned how much I hate prox bubbles and he goes, prox buttholes? And I said, yep, exactly correct. The Templar Courts. See this shit. I'm trying to do the I'm trying to inter interface with the league mechanic, which fills up my screen, the middle of my screen, I'll also note, and I get attacked. Uh, attacking cast speed for each alive monster. That's horrifying. Everything's normal pack density. That's not helpful. Additional physical damage reduction. That's fine. Chance to ignite. No, damage ignite. Fire resist? Crap. No, we don't want them to have that. Uh, let's go in. I'm going to take a sec and travel to our hideout. Whenever possible, I will travel to my hideout instead of town because Greetings. the performance is so incredibly all I do have to go back to turn in the Right. I have nothing to Go sell. I do want the point for the miasmeter, so the tower. I just went through two maps and picked up no items. And not much in the way of currency. Thank you. Uh Granite flask, please. That'll help survivability some. Uh, that's not where I want to go. That's where I want to go. Maximum charges, increased attack speed during effect. That's a really, really good one. I am fine with that. I am pleased with that result. That was a good result. Puts a smile on Renz's face. Well, this is a smile. Best I can do. Sour old man. 
It's in the job description. Uh, caster modifiers are more scarce. That's a good one. I'm going to open the chests, see if I can find anything worthwhile. I didn't even get any crap out of those. if it had freeze protection. Uh, curses. Increased amount recovered, but reduced the recovery rate. Still, the number's so high, even with the lower rate, it's probably fast, more and faster than that, so we'll go with that. Cost nothing. That's a movie reference. American classic. Animals. Our first sighting of Bluto in the movie. Five percent quality. Plus five. Third. I don't understand. I guess you could have multiples of these around to increase the quality. That's how you get it above 30. The Chamber of Innocence. Increased quantity of items dropped 400%. Yes, please, and thank you. The Temple Justicars. I think they're more numerous. We'll go with them getting the uh, items dropped. Although these guys might drop better stuff. We'll just go pure quantity. We want. We would like some currency. We want more currency. Stained glass and gold. What exquisite lies they have themselves. Uh, hide out, sell stuff. Hello. Hi. Curses, is that one better? Probably. Life? Nice life. You put a resist on it, it's probably an improvement. Yeah, it is. Alright. Farewell. Big life gain. Two open suffixes. I also have an open suffix here. I think that's the only place we have an open suffix right now. Fire or lightning is the question. I know whichever one I put on is going to come out wrong. Oh, I need the sockets. Socket pressure! Everybody, socket pressure. Storm rain, mana forged, and blast rain. I need that. Flame dash, we need that. Anger, we need that. Can we do without war banner? Yes. Can we do without dash? Yes. I can 
reroll the colors there, I should be able to get three green. Alright. Flame Bash. There. Anger. There. All I had to do was tell it to come on. Alright, now keep that intact. We got more life. We have more reasonable total now. Not a good total, but a better total, I guess. Slight drop in damage. We also want that to remove your curses. sell that. I don't think that is going to be of any further use. We have no slots open, so these will temporarily get back in the stashed. Greetings. So, because we need two resists, I'm going to wait until we get one of them to show up on another item, or a second item that we can throw. on. Uh, this one's got an open prefix. Anything worthwhile putting on that? Elemental damage with attack skills. Or flat. Flat lightning. Mostly we're doing lightning. Flat lightning seems like it's not bad. To the Chamber of Innocence after we reignite our anger. Because I'm so angry all the time. It's what happens when you're old. But I definitely have about another hundred plus life. So that'll improve my survivability by chunk. Good place for a lag spike. Check the quiver. Uh, terrible life, a little bit of attack speed, and literally nothing else good. Okay, well the increased critical strike chance with bows isn't bad, but uh, yeah, that's not that's not an improvement over our current one. That's Weeping Essence of Fear. I am not afraid of this one. Hold on. Constantly gives me, giving me huh as I look up and see one of my storm skills going off all around me. A couple of blue bows. Well, uh, the five socket definitely worth a look. We'll do a quick look on the other one. No, yeah, we'll do a look on this one too. A little bit more fire damage. It would, it, it would take an incredible crapshoot for that to actually turn out. But do you believe in magic? Come on. 
Come on. I'm not letting you get away with that. You chase me like that. I'm gonna shoot you. Speed and exerted attacks. Another jeweler's orb, nice. Maybe it's just me, but it does feel like the drops are getting a bit more reliable. Certainly not my colors. Uh, that thing was terrible. My first five link. I do not think it's usable on this build anyway. And getting a whole bunch of greens on that is unlikely as any attempt to... Chrome it up. Because it's pure strength, right? Yeah, pure strength. Which means that for every socket, if you try to recolor it, 60% of the time it becomes strength, 20% it becomes blue and int, 20% it becomes green, the ones who the odds of getting even three green on that. Quite low. With a topaz flat. I will give that a look. Life, fire, and lightning, but crappy fire and lightning. We kind of need the four green links off that, so that's not worth carrying around, or this one at least. All right, we have to look at this one now, too. Uh, better resists. Meh, life, and I would have to probably spend all of my... Currency trying to get it up to four green links, so it's worth looking at, but not worth superior charge. And now we are heading towards another encounter that could very easily kill me. Towns are just getting worse and worse and worse by league. Greetings. Movement speed, cold and chaos. No life, we could put life on it. Worth holding on to, I think. Definitely feels like the currency is coming more now. Uh, here, I think. Yep. This is where I'm putting items for future builds, potentially. Drop this in.
I need to take a momentary break. We will see if we crash out again. Uh, actually, the best way to prevent that... No, I can't go back because I need to use the chamber. Get to back to the chamber. I'll be right back. And I'm back. I hope you enjoyed the Comic Sans. Alright, Innocence. Uh, I would not be surprised if he kills me. He's kind of a jerk. Faves fights are always in the too. Bubbles. Alright, I right. first stays down. And innocence. The pinnacle of hubris. Jerk. Whoa. This is why I'm not a fan of Innocence. I misplayed that. And it almost punished me. Well, it punished me, just not quite lethal. I've always considered this to be, for me anyway, uh, a much more difficult fight than the top. At least the top five. The last half of that went much faster than I expected. Other than that, the one chess piece, there's not a single item here that could ever fit in my build in any way, form, or fashion. I am Sin. Hi, Sin. Should we talk? Big fan of your work. court to wait. Yeah, blame me. Sure, blame me. 1% chance to drop an additional jeweler's orb. I would like those. Jeweler's orbs would be nice. Uh, 
Attacks have a 50% chance to maim on hit. Very low population of those. We'll go with that there. And this is the heretical wards. Three to eight or four to seven. Hmm, decision. Uh, we'll go with that one. I would like more jewelers. Those would be, those would be welcome. Rocks bubbles suck. That is all. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Ooh, that's not good. What the hell is somebody is dropping really awful stuff on the floor? And not tidying up after themselves. Fire resist, a little life, more fire resist. Potentially useful. As that one's got fire resist and a lot of life. And that one's got fire, cold, and cold. Cold we've got enough of, we may. Let's see, we're currently at 77. That's got a total of 31 cold. We would go down to 40 cold and not pick up much in the way of fire. About 30. Basically, we'd be swapping out cold for, for fire. That's not a win. Fire and cold. Good resists life. We lose a lot of damage. But we're probably going to end up having to swap to that. Oh, and all suffixes are full. At least we can put a damage prefix on. Can't pop something out. Back here. What? In the necropolis. Plus we leveled up, so bow attacks now fire an additional arrow. This is obviously good news. What have we got? Wow, lots. Caster modifiers are scarcer. Armor items do not have a dexterity requirement. I don't know if that means they're not going to roll green or not. Physical modifiers are 100% less... 100% scarcer. Physical. So we should get elemental then. So if we go with that and that. And that. We have a really good chance of getting cold damage. All right, we'll start with that. We'll go here. The caster modifiers are scarce. Cold modifier tier rating. do not have a dexterity requirement. We'll go ahead and burn this one. Because we're never going to... If it affects green socketing, we don't ever want to use it. If it doesn't affect green requirements, we're never going to have a problem because we always have a lot of dexterity anyway with our build. So we're going to burn this one to get it out of the way. Anything else that we want to get? 
Increased effect of humanoid corpses adjacent to this corpse. I hadn't even noticed that one. We'll hold on to that one for later. Uh, the quality, I don't think it's going to matter. So we'll hold on to that. I think we'll just, just do this. And we're going to get try and get stupidly lucky with a bow. Come on. You can do this. You can hit this. The grace of Prospero relieve you of your anguish and aid this soldier so that you may empower a bow the mighty lion I would be proud of. Onslaught Bane. How can it possibly go wrong with that name? Uh, lightning, not good. Critical strike. The accuracy's nice. That's not a good bow. Sadly. Short bow. The tier on the lightning. Our current lightning does up to 149. This does lightning up to 79. Tier 8 versus tier 6. Yeah, it's it's not a winner. But you never win if you don't play. What the hell is that? What's blowing up? It's got to be one more. Damn um, Arch Nemesis League modifier. Arch Nemesis League is the worst thing they've ever done brought to this game, and they should get rid of it immediately. But as best I can tell, it's somebody's baby. And they might be upset if they removed it from the game, despite it being crap. And despite the number of times the players have told them it's crap. GG is not a stranger to institutional arrogance about their game. Fortunately, they seem to be waking up a little with not just the addition of the, the new um, quality of life stuff they've added, which is good, make no mistake, it's good and welcome, but also the attitude they've had a couple times when they were talking about that. Why don't we just do this? It wouldn't harm the product and the players would like it kind of thing. And that's, yes, thank you. That's what we've been waiting for. Contains additional rare, dry, uh, revives, uh, casts Firestorm. Uh, it ignites me. I can, I can, I can live through this. One. Didn't drop much. Luster trap support, not a not much not much of a help for me. I will try to speak in uh, complete sentences. I may not succeed, because you guys deserve complete sentences. The ruined square. Physical damage is extra lightning. No thank you. Let's see. They throw fireballs, therefore they don't do physical damage. Increased life for each alive monster in the pack. Uh, can we have small packs, please? Pack density very low. Thank you. The mods are getting a little bit more punitive. Sadly, the rewards do not seem to be growing at a similar proportion.
Misha Pudge is the first character to reach level 99. Holy crap. They have got to be playing in a group. But even then, I mean, maybe they found some kind of weird-ass exploit. Don't stand in the fire. If I remember that, boys and girls, don't stand in fire. That thing was a disappointment. Son, your mother and I are very disappointed in you. That's a lot of light, and not much else. In fact, literally nothing else. Go with courage. I will go with courage. I suggest you try going with courage, too. Let's see. That's a long life. And that one was bleeding. Uh, we can just get set aside. Let's see. We're currently at 5625. If we just swap this, 47. That's great. But we can add lightning to this, and that'll help some. So, 5625. We're losing about 600, but we're gaining resists and life. Painful, but necessary, I think. So, two of our resists are now solid. We can make the last one adequate. Minimum value. It figures. It figures. So it's still not very good, but it's not terrible anymore. That was, by the way, the game giving me a great big fuck you with a smile on its face and a song in its heart. head back to Lonnie. She's got a present for us. Good evening. Yes, 99 people are insane is exactly the correct response. I wouldn't have thought 99 was possible in 25 hours. Because normally the best players, I think, are like three days to get to 100. So I don't know. I I don't I wouldn't have thought that was possible. Sanity or not. It's not frankly, they're insane, but a lot of people a lot of the streamers will play for 25 hours on launch day or more. So they're crazy. But to get to 99 in 25 hours, I don't even under wouldn't have thought that was possible. I mean, maybe softcore. 
soft core trade. Maybe they could just buy all the cool stuff that they needed with a group farming for the funds they needed to buy stuff. I don't know. Is it possible in Affliction with the Wish on launch day? The Goddess? What ambition? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe? And certainly the, it, it certainly felt that the... Um, the entropy factor, the amount of random up and down swings you could have in Affliction was higher. If you, if, no, I would have said that it would have been more likely in Affliction. But not likely. It's going to freeze me. I have to say no again. I simply do not have a freeze flask. That would get me killed. Because my gear is still pretty much crap. My life total, still pretty much crap. Possible infliction with the wisps, yeah. I certainly it feels like it should have been a lot more possible. I don't I don't know how you could do it in this league. I mean maybe there is something end gamey with the new league mechanic that allows you to, you know, really juice up stuff. Certainly at lower levels I'm not seeing it. I mean, the endgame mechanic is interesting and the ability to, you know, cascade stuff, you know, around the graves, make a big grave loop where everything gets sucked in and get multiple 200, 400% added to something to jack stuff up or some XP multiplier that I'm not aware of yet. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go yet. We'll stay right here for now. Uh, let's see. Attacks always maim on hit. I'm not a fan. 50% of damage is extra fire. Do we have anyone who is um, not melee or not physical, I should say? Uh, doesn't look like it. Um, to them, I suppose. Oh, 150% extra life. That That's awesome. I, I love that one. That was a lie. I'm, I'm lying again to you. I apologize for lying. You know, if anything ever casts like a firestorm at me or something, I'm just going to stand there and eat it because I think it's my own storm. I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's a really good chance I kill myself that way in the not too distant future. I go to all that trouble to kill that rare and he don't drop nothing. In fact, nothing to me. In the quarter's head. Hey, Nod Knox, how you doing? Hope your Saturday evening is going well. Or at least it isn't sucking. Sour old man likes to protect against the suck. Oh, sorry to hear it for the wife. Hope nothing serious. I would hope nothing serious if you're doing okay, but she's not.
Calico's jaw. Two down, one to go. I would say the, uh, what are they, the uh, archivists or something? Reliquarians, they're one of the more annoying mobs. I'm not a fan of the mobs that show up and then you can't do anything to them for like three seconds until they decide they want, they want to play. Alright, what did I turn off? Did I turn off my hatred? I turned off my hatred. I hate when I do that. Wait. Uh, I can use this one. Wow. So much stuff. Not really. Nothing useful to do yours truly. Crafting recipe, I'll grab that. Accuracy. Tukahama's Tooth. And I think I'll just head back to quote unquote town. Ah, uh, do I look look at less enthused? I don't think I am. I was a little off my feed yesterday, wasn't feeling too great. It may be the intense look of concentration on my face. Okay, intense is maybe a little much. Life and lightning resist, but our ability to get four linked green, just about zero. Uh, I mean, this is not bad, but definitely need the resists off that one, so keep that. So, jump, jump, jump. Two skill points. Let me take a moment to look at my path-o building and see where I'm going next. Because I don't know. We're heading north. To here, and then here, and then there. An additional pierce would be good. Don't know why we're not going to peering, piercing two, but uh, I think I'll probably take that. Oh, that's right, I did have two points. And this stuff goes into the box. Put it in the box. Mm, that was not much in the way of delicious stuff. Global physical. No, that's not going to be making anything I don't expect. Hi, Bannon. How you doing? Uh, we, we could get ludicrously lucky. I think we're more likely to get ludicrously lucky on the bow than the quiver, because right now we need the resists on the quiver. Drum roll, please. Three really good tier elemental damages. Go. One not very good elemental damage. That's a swing and a miss. What do you need? I need to sell this to you. No, this isn't the one you just gave me as a reward. It's an entirely different but identical looking bow. Thank you. Back to the ossuary. Oh my god. I am... I'm going to have to, I think, uh, do something... I don't... I didn't want to go there. I didn't want to go there. I'm going to have to do something I don't think I've ever done in the game before, which is not finish off Kitava as soon as he becomes available. Minus 30 resists that I would get for killing Katava, I would have no answer for. I don't have the, I don't have the um, currency to improve my items, and I don't have the items by themselves. I would suddenly be minus thirty to all resists. My resists are mostly crap. Are still weak right now. They're not crap anymore. They're weak. Dodge. 
Yeah, um, I'll buy a Dodge, the car, and drive through the mobs. That would be my best chance. I'm going to have to farm for gear. And, and that's something I haven't done. In forever. Maybe ever. Unless I was... Like, there used to be you could farm for a tabula rasa pretty quickly. In an hour or two. In... Like the blood aqueducts. So I know I have farmed that in the past. But that's pretty much the only, like, farming I've ever done. I know that one of the standard pieces of advice from... Especially from the hardcore players. Is, you know, don't be shy about leveling yourself up to over-level an area. Didn't used to be too bad. Right now, though, uh, apparently the odds of getting, what is it, humility? Whichever it was, the, the div card, where nine of them would give you a tabula rasa, apparently the odds of them dropping in that map now are really low. So it's completely not worth it anymore. To be fair, Tabula Rasa in the current game isn't worth it since it lacks all defenses. Yeah, it would certainly it wouldn't help me in my build right now. My offense is fine. Getting a whole bunch more, and it would be a bunch more, isn't really helping. My defenses are crap right now. It does depend on the build, though. Uh, also, it depends on whether you're softcore and hardcore. I'm softcore, so you can get away with it a lot more. Uh, Tabula Rasa in hardcore, I expect is not always, a, is seldom a good choice. To be more specific about it. But in my case in particular, because my, my defenses are the problem. My life total isn't great. In fact, it's poor. I mean, theoretically, the old bar, ballpark they used to use, use for softcore was, you know, at the end of each act, you should have 300 more life. So at the end of Act 5, I should have 1,500 effective life. I'm at 12 and a half hundred, and I'm almost at the end. So even by those low ball numbers, my life totals are bad. I've got one crappy resist still. Well, chaos, obviously, but also lightning is, is sub. And so all of a sudden, if they yoinked down minus 30, I'd have 54 uh, fire... 68, not bad cold, and then 31 lightning. And that's a good way of dying in Act 6. A lot. Six portal defense, best defense, most reliable defense. Hi, Sin. An empire is not and... Lever, door. So I think what I'm going to have to do, sad to say, is I'm going to have to farm. Uh, just enter, because I'm immediately teleporting out. I'm going to have to farm... I guess the torched courts. And try and get some more gear. Because my gear's for crap. A couple pieces with decent resists and life, and I'd probably be okay. But right now, it's kind of crap. Oh, is this... Did these... These should have uh, re-rolled. They should be re... They should be... Yeah, it's a fresh map. Okay. I don't need immense amounts, but I really do need some. Ooh, delirium. Now I can get myself killed in an entirely new and different way. Excellent. Here we go. Let's go with delirium. Wow. So, uh, that was lag, if you were wondering what that was. Yeah, if I don't... I'm, I'm likely to die here, not just because of delirium, 
mobs and stuff, but because of the incredible lags I'm having due to the delirium effect. I've been having issues with lag spikes off and on the whole league, but not to this extent. This is um, interesting. get lucky or get myself dead. Hey, I'm not going to die from that. Well, at least not from getting frozen. Oh my god, that's not great. Holy crap, what is this? Chaos Orb. Still isn't open. How about you guys? Want to get um, GCP is nice. I don't think that thing should just be sitting there for like minutes at a time. I don't think that's quite right. Having issues with lag until you switch to renderer onto uh, the Vulcan renderer. You can go fix the issue, and you're on a potato. It's only I, I get occasional spikes, and mostly it's in town. The worst of it is by far in town. The, the town issues they had last league appear to be back with a frickin' vengeance. Even with the load-ins. I've also had um, the game hang on me three times. Once today, on stream, and twice last night. Each time in town. Sniper bow! It could be awesome! It won't be. Spoiler! My, I've had good luck with the bows and the quivers so far, but the rest of my gear is pretty crap. Okay, pretty crap is probably an understatement. It's crap crap. I've never tried the Vulcan Renderer. On the other hand, that's the first time I've run anything um, with Delirium. And it was obvious that Delirium was a huge deal there. Another level for me. Projectiles Pierce. Another target. I think that seems good. And I will grab the second one. I'm not sure why they don't on the POB, as having multiple pierces seems better. What are they taking instead? I mean, there's good stuff elsewhere. Multi-shot, attacks fire an additional projectile. And that might be worth going to firster. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Greetings. Okie dokie. No, nope, those don't need it. Those do. Sell. Sell. <sighs> Drum roll, please. Can a brother get three elemental attack rolls in good tiers? Two in good tiers. And some fizz. A little fire resist thrown in. Some crit. Open what? Suffix? Open suffix. That's probably better. Bow. 
what I would need. I could swap this over to there. That works. We can at least um, poke at it and see if it's better. But we will do that in a place where I'm not likely, or less likely anyway, to crash out. As I never seem to have any problems in my hideout. Goblin Bat. Oh, some of the people on Reddit. I gotta say, personally, I absolutely detest noisemakers in games, especially MMOs. Anyone who played WoW in the day of the woo woo, chicka 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 woo woo, knows why. I hate it. I think it's a way to grief people. I gotta say, this one doesn't bother me that much. It doesn't play so often that it bothers me. But I understand why it bothers a lot of people. And on Reddit, some people are just really unhappy. Nameless Seer gave you a taste, taste of hate. Really? That's a nice drop. I've had good I've had good luck with my bows and my quivers, and the rest of my gear is crap. But we're going to test something out first. Okay. So we remove our Storm Rain, Mono Forged Arrows, and Blast Rain. And we swap our weapon stuff over to here. Our damage stuff. Okay. Primary damage. We are at 5159. This one will give us a slight increase. Not much. But it also does give us fire resist. And an open suffix. So I think, eh, I don't think we've got enough uh, chaos to put an attack speed on it. Accuracy. Oh, a lower attack speed. That might be worth it. Base crit's a lot higher also. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, it is. A lot. Excellent catch. So, we can do a little bit more damage on it. Probably the lightning. That's not a huge bunch. We can go with the attack speed. That's pretty big. Or the resist. I think the attack speed. As now, we're at about 6k, and here we're at a little over 5k. So, that's a chunky damage increase. Not a huge one, but certainly nice. Yeah, attack speed would definitely be better than the, the lightning. The only question was that I want to try and drop a resist on, but hopefully I can get another resist somewhere else. But 14% lightning. I mean, the problem, though, is that we're about to lose 30. And so here we would drop to 70, 69, 68, 31. I really do need one more lightning to, before I can go, one more lightning resist item before I can go into Act 6, I think. At least that's the way it feels to me. Um... Mana Forge. All right, we do need these linked. What do we have here? Grace. I'm not even using Grace anymore. Still don't want to keep leveling it up. The Ice Golem isn't important. The Herald of Ice we want to keep. Blinker I suppose we want to keep. I'm not like vastly enthused about that, but sure, whatever. So we move these over here. Ice Golem, Grace, Ice Golem. The Grace can go there, just for leveling up purposes. And we have managed to swap ourselves around, increase our damage by a nice little chunk. Not a bunch, but a nice little chunk. Passive skills, increase spell damage. That's not a winner for this build. Surprisingly, I don't do any self-spell damage.
Oh, yeah, they're bad. They've got a good life. And they had an open suffix. That's it. This, okay life, one bad resist, and then an open suffix. Over here, uh, meh life, some movement speed, and sockets I needed. In fact, I can try and get better boots. I'm going to take a ride out to the necropolis. Yeah, those are all, that's, that's what I, it, and my currency drops have not been good. I don't know if currency is reduced. It feels like it's reduced, but that may just be, um, Lens is a bad player. My gear, my gear awful, man. Uh, let's see. Speed modifiers are scarcer. I thing is, I don't want scarce speed. I would like to have some movement speed on those boots, please. Uh, modifier, attributes. We got to drop something. That's level 39, up to a maximum of four. Sure, yeah. We would like to have more links on it. So plus one to the minimum number would be good. Attribute modifiers, those are suffixes. I need I need suffixes. I need a resist or two out of that would be really, really nice. Do we just want to do just that? We definitely don't want to put that in. I think for these to be good, you'd essentially have to have six of them up to the max and, and um, completely surround the target with it. So we'll go ahead and take a cheesy 5% quality add-on as well. My assumption is the more stuff you bury, your odds of goodness go up. I, I don't know if that's true. We don't have anything else here that we want to use. We're going to hope to get lucky on boots. Everyone boots. So that you may grace them with fleetness. Fleetness would be nice. Wow, those are really bad. Those are some terrible freaking boots. That's what those are. Holy crap. Worst boots ever. Hello. <laughs> boots of the unwanted minus one, you know? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I need to take a momentary break away and get another delicious Coca-Cola Spiced. Not a paid advertisement. You wonder why spiced uh they had a a deal at the store buy two 12 packs get three 12 packs free and so for that fifth pack i said i have no idea what the hell coca-cola spiced is why not try it uh, it's okay those boots were not meant for walking they're meant for walking away from I would really, given the, the amount of stuff I have that I can still improve on, I would like to get that lightning up. Get a couple, at least one good piece of gear, so I'm going to head back to the Chamber of Innocence. And then into the Torched Court and try again. Oh, thank you. Extra savoring of the sands. Mmm. Tastes like triumph. All right. Oh, good. We've got 50% of physical damage is extra random element. 25% of physical is extra lightning. 
increased life for each alive monster in the pack. Strongest monster in the pack gets an acceleration shrine. These are all lovely, lovely possibilities. And of course I'm lying. Uh, uh, this is not good. I am, I am not happy with some of these results. So far, still just the two deaths on the first map post Hillock. And those deaths were not my fault. They were last epoch deaths. Because it turns out, um, don't have the same buttons in the two games. So I was uh, furiously pressing the wrong button to heal. And it kills me twice. Kind of a funny way to die, I have to say. Yeah, last epoch killed me in PoE. It, that is exactly what did occur. And not only did it kill me, it killed me in at least one case of those two cases where I was specifically talking about setting up my buttons. Like how I always have my uh, my primary move button on E, like I do here. I'm talking about that, and completely forgetting about after setting up my heal and mana buttons the way I normally do, not pressing them correctly. So it's a funny death, and it's certainly not my usual death. My usual league death comes from league mechanic or freezing strong boxes. Mind you, I have managed to dodge two freezing strong boxes, which almost certainly would have killed me. So I'm generally, I would say, playing a little smarter than usual. Well, we've got couple of possible gloves and uh, helmet to check out. That's the one that had the acceleration shrine on it. Really? Yeah, I guess so. Well, let's take a look at that and that. Life, one really crappy resistance. the acceleration shrine on it. Ding me, I'm now level 50. I'm really going to catch up with that guy who hit level 99 half an hour ago. That one still blows my mind. I wouldn't have thought it was possible. Antifreeze on your run flask. I have no, I have no antifreeze. I haven't gotten one, and I don't haven't had the, uh, sufficient currency to craft it. You know, so while I've been talking about how my gear is crap, and it is, I also have not had much in the way of currency. I'm starting to get a little bit more now. I had a couple of good maps for, you know, random currency drops, but generally the currency's been bad, too. Back to town. It's 
I usually put my uh, antifreeze, as you say, uh, on one of my healing flasks. And I normally run two healing flasks pretty late, if not always. Because I tend to fat finger. And fat fingering at the wrong time can get you dead if you only run in one. You know, depending on the build, of course. All right. Will we get lucky with any of this? Gloves. Life lightning. Not much else. That's got a lot of life and more lightning, and this has three full suffixes. It's crap. Uh, gloves. Wow. Awful. One meh resist and no life. That, that, was, um, that was not successful. I have once again managed to fail. I already have Corrupted Blood. That's removing curses, so drop those into the basket. I would like to continue my complaints about having quest items take up inventory space in such an inventory-limited game. Please, GGG, stop with the intentional fuck use to your player base. It does, it, it does not become you. I am not hitting it out of the park. Actually, I think I'll, I'll just run around here. I think it's probably better than uh, the courts. What I can do, though, is I can enter the courts and turn around and set the lantern in here. Strongest monster in the pack gets 100% quant drop. Now we're talking. The league itself initially my thoughts on it were very positive because my first couple crafts were very very useful and historically most leagues kind of shit at the start of play so I was pleased with that but since then they have been pretty much unimpressed um, I know uh, I was watching Exile play earlier, and he basically was saying that the, he wasn't impressed with it, but that, that it seemed like it might be good at the end game. So I think at very low levels, it's pretty good for just gearing up a little bit. But as you get to sort of the middle game, let's say, the middle part of leveling, other than the middle game. It seems to be weaker. Now, maybe it strengthens up again. One of the things about it that uh, I understand why a lot of people aren't, aren't going to uh, like, it hasn't bitten me on the ass yet, is the fact it's not skippable. Most of the time in the past, you could choose whether you wanted to engage with a league mechanic. You can't choose. You have no choice in this league mechanic. You get it whether you want to or not. And I'm not a fan of that. And I know if I was like a hardcore player, I would be really, really not a fan of that. Yeah, basically you enter a map and all the mobs not all the mobs. Most of the mobs, or a large number of the mobs, will have some kind of buff of uh, mostly of a like damage type or something negative to you. Uh, sometimes they'll have a positive loot drop type affix. So like... Uh, like, the bosses of some of these packs, for me, here, have a 200% quantity buff. So that's good for me. But most of the time, the things you'll see are, you know, does 50% of physical damage as extra fire, say. 
Now, you can put that on, like, a non-physical mob so that it doesn't matter because it's not doing any physical damage. So you can do some uh, wangling with it to reduce the impact or increase the impact of, of good stuff. But you do have to engage, and some of the times your choices will be crappy. I don't really know how rippy the affixes are. They don't seem too terrible so far. 100% chance of attack modifiers. That's a good one. Did I hear somebody pop in behind me? No. Okay. Don't know what that was. It was something, though. That's for sure. But yeah, it's an odd choice that after all this time, most I can't remember a league where you had no choice but to engage. Not for a long time. Piri Piri and roasted garlic chips. Uh, well, roasted garlic is just always a win. Under all circumstances, all times. There's a pizza place locally, and they have uh, one of their pizzas. They put... They say 40. It, in my experience, it's closer to 60 or more cloves, full cloves of roasted garlic over the top of the pizza. Incredible. Crappy lightning resist. Decent life, no movement speed. Crappy lightning resist. It's probably still an upgrade, frankly. Uh, that's no. No. Effect is not removed when reserved mana. I mean, I think this is. A... Normally, I like the enduring. Oh, I'll hold on to it anyway. Remember, we do this for freedom. Uh, good choice. I approve of that message. Is this, in fact, better? Almost certainly. Frenzy and Mana Forged. I lose the movement speed. I gain a lot of life. You know, a little bit of lightning resist, and... It does not have an open suffix. We'll hold on to it. And we will head back to the Chamber of Innocence, in and out. You want have chips normally eat 10 to 15. You're tired of the taste. I wish I was that fortunate when it came to chips. In my case, most of the time it's, oh, chips. I'll eat a bag. Global critical strike chance. Global Critical Strike Multiplier. Wow. Thanks. They are designed to be bag attractive. For me, it's more about the crunch than the flavor. Because I've been, you know, actively working to lose weight. When you're actively losing, uh, working to lose weight, there's not a lot of stuff that's got crunch. At 
and I love a nice crisp crunch. Yes, sadly, my waistline agrees that I do have the uh, chip vacuuming capacity. It's never been easy for me to put down a bag. And again, it is... The flavor is certainly a part, but it's really about the crunch. Weakness is soda. I'm not bad with it. I normally have a couple of day, but it's not a big deal for me. I don't really miss it if I don't have it. I can polish off any size soda and happily ask for another. I normally have two a day. And maybe only one if I'm going to have coffee. So it'll either be like two Coke Zeros to start the day or a Coke Zero and then a couple cups of coffee. I used to drink a lot more. I used to go through five a day. I was a bit of a Diet Coke wine addict. I don't think they make the Diet Coke wine anymore. Three liters of iced tea per day? That's healthier unless you're drinking American-style sweet tea. Which, uh, if I understand correctly, uh, and I've never actually had sweet tea. It is a mostly but not exclusively a southern thing. It's basically, uh, it's sort of like a simple syrup that you wave a tea bag over. like to come up with like one more item, decent item, before I move on to Act 6. 6% Six sugar compared to sodas, 10 to 12. Yeah, unfortunately, I got off the sugary sodas a long time ago. I think the credit would belong to um, the Diet Coke Lime. I don't think they even make any more. That I liked the taste of that enough, I could get off of the sugar sodas. Yes, we're going that way. Greetings. Unity to shock. Actually, that one's pretty good. That one's good. Uh, 18 life and a lot of lightning resistance. Nope. A lot of lightning resistance is good, but the life and the rest of the stuff, not so much. Remember, we do this for freedom. Stop putting things in the guild stash. Also, GGG, move the guild stash like right over there so we don't accidentally click it as much. The kicker is. The one mana per kill. Yeah, and that's a poke in the eye. Ha ha. Here, have some mana. One. Boink. Once more to the Chamber of Innocence. We'll do the in and out again. Twenty-five percent physical damage is extra cold. We put that on the thing that throws fireballs and it doesn't affect us. 
Science. thing I think I'll try is to get a better belt because my current belt isn't very good either. Right? It's just got decent life, one crappy resist, and then a lower tier uh, bench resist. mob can eat a bag of dicks uh freeze me when activated thank you i'm going to pass don't want to die for no good reason Level versus zone. Uh, it's 43. I'm 51. So I think that's good for another couple of levels. I think 10 is the, the bad number. Probably getting close to just saying, yeah, let's go ahead and take the spin, take out Kataba, and move on. Yeah. You talk me into it, you smooth talking bastard. Jewelers on one. I have used no jewelers. I'm going to be moving on to Act 6. I have a grand total of 10. Three fusings. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've just been trying to come up with like one more decent item. This one's meh. Um... There we go, we can now use that. More life. A little bit of lightning resist, so... It's up to 70. It, it'll be fine for this, but going down to 40 is going to be iffy. It's got, what, an open prefix? I don't think there's anything useful I can throw on the prefix. Oh, movement speed. 
if I've got a movement speed graph. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like they murdered currency drops. Now, again, you know, maybe it's just me. It feels that way. It definitely, definitely feels that way. I haven't heard anyone else say anything about it. Not true. I've heard a number of the streamers say that they're poor. That they're really poor. And I haven't said that the drops are bad. Yeah. And seven transmutations. That's the one that really blows my mind. Normally I would expect I'd have 50, 70. Uh, I've used one alchemy in the game, so I've only gotten three. Yeah, that's the whole thing. The entropy on the league feels so much lower than compared to last league. And it, but it's hard for me to know what that if if that's simply perceptual because last league's entropy was so high. Movement speed. Uh, I can't afford two chaos. I don't want to spend all of my chaos on movement speed. On meh movement speed. Really? I, I, I can't justify it in my own head. It, it feels okay. It doesn't, I would say, feel good. The, the, the low entropy has kept me... You know, you want to feel like you're progressing, and I've spent too much of it feeling like I'm not progressing, like I'm, you know, it, with the exception of the, the bows, I've had good luck with the bows and the quivers. That's it. So my damage has always been good to very good through all of this, which has made it playable. If not for that, it would be a lot less, let's go with playable. All right, we're going to go to Katava. We're going to take our 30% loss in the shorts, and we're going to pretend it doesn't hurt. But I can't remember the last time I entered Act 6 and couldn't cap my resists. But I can't. I, I don't have I don't have the materials or the gear. I don't have the currency or the gear to cap my resists. Uh, I don't know if uh, you haven't watched the Star Trek stuff. Is it any good? Have you ever played Star Trek online? Regenerate 4% of life per second. That shouldn't be an issue. We'll get them dead fast. We should be good to go. If you're a Star Trek fan and you've never played the game, I would recommend at least trying like only my fifth unique that I've gotten. So I haven't gotten much in the way of uniques. Certainly none of them have been playable, even remotely. Not for this build. Well, the big thing was, what got me back to play it, was um, I would definitely recommend trying it at least if you're a Star Trek fan for instance uh, I was playing it and a friend of mine who I knew was a huge Trekkie asked if it was any good and I said you know you really should try it he, he didn't really he wasn't, didn't, at least didn't seem very interested and I convinced him to try it. When he finished the install, his first comment was, oh, I liked it instead of launch, the launcher says engage. And I believe it was like two days before he bought the lifetime subscription. 
Uh, the space Barbie in it is incredible. The ships look amazing. The space combat is great. The ground combat is a little janky. At least I find it that way. Not everyone does. Some people like it. I find it a little janky. But what got me to play it again this specific time was... Um, because I'm a lifetime subscriber, I get some of the real money currency, the Zen, every month. And it had been racking up for a while. And there was a ship I was interested in a couple months ago. Um, but they were going to about to have the sale for the anniversary, and people were hoping that would be really good. It didn't turn out to be, and it turned out that that's a good thing for me, because um, the deal they offered right now, through for a couple more days at least, um, if you have the Zen, there are some packs you can buy where it's account-wide unlocks for a number of ships. And the ship I was going to buy for a single player or a third, single character to use for the same price, I'm getting six ships that all of my characters can use and uh, tokens for two more ships that uh, any one given character can use. No, actually, those are unlocks as well. So I'm getting eight unlocks account-wide instead of one ship for one character. So I'm very stoked about it, and the ship that I was doing all this for is a Romulan ship, the Valkus, and it's beautiful. And I had to have it because it's a gorgeous-looking ship. Because it's Space Barbie. Okay, if you don't, if you don't think you would enjoy playing, then yeah, yeah, I don't. I certainly don't want you to um, play something you wouldn't enjoy. I will also say, okay, what's what's turned? What got turned off? Harold Weiss got turned off. Uh, I will say, um, especially if you're starting Federation, a lot of those missions are really old and clunky and kind of feel it. Uh, hey, what do you know? No freezing. All right, we're coming up on, I almost said tequila. Why did I say that? Because I was thinking tequaddle. But no, it's quitava. Quitava, tequaddle, tequila, potato, potato. Let's call the whole thing. to drop a portal outside any difficult fight because in the past I have occasionally misclicked and uh, instead of going back into the place I just died I've gone to town and then I have to run all the way back throw in a medication excuse a medication because Saturday yeah, Katava the Sunless is exactly correct Hi, Kitava. Ah, it's not great. 
Ooh, that was uh, suboptimal. Maybe I should try to play less bad. What do you think? Five. And he's about to launch torpedoes into our resistances. So I'm going to shoot arrows at him because it makes me feel empowered. Eat those! I didn't fail, you dumbass. Let's have a look at those excruciating numbers. Eh, 69 fire resistance. As I am a, an internet person, I must respond nice. Uh, 58 cold. That's not as good. Mm, 40 lightning. That's not great at all. And a minus 23 chaos. Could be worse. I'm Captain Lily Rolf. Hello, Captain Lily Rolf. Remember. I ain't no charity run. I owe her. Or so she assures me. Right. Right. Despite your best Wonder what happens if you do not say nice. Uh, I'm pretty sure they shut off your internet access. Basically, they, they take away your uh, internet um, existence bona fides. A uh, nice necklace. We could use a good necklace. A nice new necklace would be nice. Fire, cold, cold resistance, damage with both skills, global accuracy. Stun. Uh, that one might be good, given that it has a nice resist as well. This one has cold and fire. It's probably not going to make the cut. Be good. Seven life and no resists. Sixty-four life two okay resists. Maybe. Seems to be some copyright infringement, Cthulhu chest abomination jostling around in town. Oh, I see it. Yes. Um, I think it's a... I was going to say I think it's a crab, but I don't think it's a crab. Um, I'll give you a better look. Uh, I think it's supposed to be their version of a mimic, which has uh, long legs and far too many pincer thingies. It seems to me like it's got an awful lot of crab in the pincers, or whatever those are, claspers. Sort of a, a little bit of a, a arachnid. The legs, however, yeah, those are not, not, not good. And there's the band. Grants level 15 blood offering, increased evasion and energy shield, increased maximum life, minions... Regenerate minions. Nice life bonus. I don't know what blood offering is off the top of my head. <laughs> Another new hat. Oh, that's right. That one would be definitely playable if I can get the sockets or swap sockets in a way. To make it work, this would be an improvement. This one would not be. Good model. Upgrade by a lot, yeah. 
The problem is the the socket budget right now. I mean, maybe I can swap some stuff around here on these stinking gloves. Um, armor. Nothing, nothing good about that except five sockets. I am going to be fiddling with my gear for quite a while. I think I'm going to call it here for now, as we've reached a good break point here at the end of, uh, at the beginning of Act 6. Uh, I'll probably be back, I'll probably eat dinner a little early, and so I'll probably be back in about two, two and a half hours uh, for more Path of Exile quality gameplay. And I'll spend some time here trying to fix my gear up and and uh, check on my uh, gems and whatnot and unlock uh, Lily as a gem vendor. But I think I'll call it here for now. Been at it for almost three hours. So I'll be back in probably two hours, two and a half, something like that. Uh, I will drop a notification on the Discord. So I want to thank you guys again for hanging out this afternoon, local time. Back in a couple hours. Uh, hopefully you'll see me then. If not, I hope the rest of your Saturday kicks ass and your Sunday's great too. Back in a couple hours. Take care. Ciao for now.